And our next candidate for Douglas South is Andrew Jessup. Uh, Andrew, looking back at your files, you, you've done, what, three before this, uh, standing in either a full election or the by-elections. You picked Douglas South once, but also you've been around other areas. So I, we should start maybe with that, is why Douglas South this time and you know, the by-election? Uh, well, I'm standing because uh, there's clearly an opportunity with the by-election for two uh, seats. Uh, the Isle of Man Green Party has been relaunched and we're hoping to obviously uh, bring into the public arena in advance of next year's general election as well, you know, to uh, start the process of engagement with the public. Um, we uh, uh, had an electronic vote to uh, yeah, I saw vote that. for a candidate. You were picked like a... And I was, I was picked. I, I was, um, you know, available to stand. Um, obviously, I've been a long-time environmental campaigner. Uh, I've got quite a lot of uh, political experience, so it was almost like perfect fit. Okay, because before you've been independent, so this time now with a party, and it fits your manifesto or vice versa. Because I always ask anyone that's standing with a party, can you stand with them exactly, and will you stay with them on that? Well, certainly, um, as you know, Paul, I've uh, 30 years of environmental campaigning. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, when the it was it was, you know, logical that when the Isle of Man Green Party was relaunched, that that was a better fit. It was good fit for you. Yes. So so yes, I, 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 I'm a man of integrity. So uh, if if there's any problems whatsoever, you know, um, I would resign. You so 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 you would so resign. So so yeah, that's from it, is, the Green Party. Resign from MHK. No. Well, this, this is one of the issues that I've had with other members in other parties is that um, they've been elected on a particular ticket mm -hmm. and then they just carried on. Um, they haven't had the integrity to stand down. And the the Levans had that issue twice, didn't they? Yes. So you what? So you would you would resign from the, the Green Party or you resign as an MHK or what? Well, well if there was if a... If it happened, conflict, I mean, you know, but I you brought it up. I, so. I can't see it happening, but what I'm just yeah. saying is that, uh, you know, that, that's my... Uh, way of doing things that uh, if you've been elected on one particular yeah. ticket and uh, for whatever reason things ch circumstances changed then uh, you need to do the honourable thing uh, remember okay. they're supposed to be honourable members yeah and therefore now you, yeah. you a dog with a bone I think is a good way of putting it when you when you get something going you, I mean you've, you've been very vocal in and you're now you know the commissioner Braddon and all that sort of thing uh, will you have to give that up obviously will you be fully on board to be a full-time MHK Yes, you know, it is a full-time job. So um, clearly I would be de dedicated to uh, representing the uh, best interests of Douglas South and the Isle of Man because it's obviously a national politician's job. So there's those two, two areas that you have to deal with, yeah. So when you go for the doorbell, what's your pitch? I mean, is it green issues or is it all... Because you, you've done many things as well on your past manifestos. Well, um, as I say, yeah, we, we're in a strange circumstance at the moment. You know, it's almost people keep using the word unprecedented, but yeah, basically my pitch is that um, we've got uh, effectively a sick planet, and we've got an awful lot of sick people, and there's uh, potentially a connection between those two, and perhaps a fitter, healthier planet will have fitter, healthier people. So, um, you know, the Isle of Man has to do its bit to make sure that that we're contributing to, um, you know. To, preventing further climate change and hopefully through that action as I say we're going to help and protect people yeah. protect their livelihood protect their jobs uh, protect their health how do you think the Ottoman government's been doing on that front I think they were a little bit slow to, to, to start but since then they, they got a fairly good grip of it um, I think the big test will be in the next 12 months to, uh, to make sure that we don't end up with a divided society so that there'll be those people that think that they're going to be immune from this uh, virus and therefore they think they should be allowed to do whatever they like. Um, and then the rest of us uh, having to hide away in our homes because we're uh, fearful of the consequences of catching it if we go out. OK, so open or closed borders, what's your view on this? Um, well, I don't want the borders um, open any more than they are at the moment. I think it's, it's uh, nice for people to be able to leave the island but it then requires on people being, you know, not being selfish when they come back and making sure that they abide by those rules. Uh, whether we've got the right balance between uh, self-isolation of those people that have travelled and other people in that Well, household. have we got I mean, I'll ask you, if you got in, what, what's your position? Well, I think we might need to tighten up, but I think we'll, we'll trust people to start with, that they will do the right thing um, if it becomes apparent and I've already heard rumours that some people are taking a chance and not adhering by the rules, 
then you know once you're in government sometimes you have to take unpopular decisions and if that means clamping down more um, and return to the uh, the internment camps of Mount Murray for those people. You would go uh, back to that? I, I think we might have to if people don't play by the rules. Do you think that was well handled when you saw those it, pictures? I don't think it was. Um, I'm sure we can do it in a more humane way. Yeah. Um, and I would obviously want to make sure that people had more fresh air and exercise during that period. Um, but I've had people on the, you know, like, as I've been going round, that uh, say, why aren't we putting ankle tags on these people that come back? Um, so, oh, like like uh, prisoners would have when they come out. Well, on well, that's right. So, so you bail or already parole. you've got that um, you know uh, sort of diverse views from people. You've got lots of people that say borders should be remaining closed. And but I think we were saying at the time you've got it's just such, so one side that side and you know it's yeah. 50 fifty almost. I don't know about what you've been finding out, but. You but, can't please anyone on this one. Can no, you, no, you can't. But uh, I, I think that's where you know it's going to be a difficult period for um, whoever gets elected in the next twelve months, and the government in general, to make sure that, that we're keeping as many people on board, and we don't end up with that divided society. Are you very much a nationalist sort of coming to this? You know, as an MHK who's looking at the, the global and Isle of Man situation, or, or will you be able to deal with Douglas South issues? And are, what are the issues? Yeah, well, Doug, Douglas South, as I say. Um, has similar issues to some of the issues I've been dealing with for years in, in, in Braddon. Um, housing, clear, is it? Cl well, housing, certainly, you know, again, fitter, healthier houses, fitter, healthier people. And I'm glad to see, you know, I last canvassed the area 20 years ago, there's been an awful lot of investment in, in the South Douglas uh, constituency, but there's still more needed. Uh, there's still a lot of people whose houses are not really fit for living in. Would you work with government? I mean, do you see yourself taking up a position with inside uh, the, the you know, going on a department and taking the uplift in the salary? I always bring that in, but I mean, it shouldn't necessarily mean anything, but no. it is obviously tempting, isn't it, that you've got more money if you go on a board? Yeah. Um, well, uh, the, the way things are at the moment, uh, um, it, again, we've got exceptional circumstances, so working together as a team is important. However, taking on a role in government would require the uh, backing of the party. So if we had, if I was approached um, by by um, the chief minister and asked whether I'd go on a department, again, if it was right for the party, right for the people of Douglas South, um, and it was the appropriate uh, position, then I would consider it. Okay. But, uh, you know, let's uh, get through the, the election first of all. Well, I mean, you'll be for electric cars and more cycling and the lower speed limits and all these sort of things, is it? Well, certainly, going back to the, your earlier question mm. about the issues for Douglas South, you touched on housing, but uh, one, of the, one of the things that's going to affect people, and it, it's an issue already um, in terms of traffic, um, if the proposed development in the area plan for the east goes ahead, that is going to you know, add to that congestion in Douglas South uh, people will be, you know, sitting in queues, all the backing up from Quarter Bridge, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, if they think we've got difficulties at the moment, the speed's going to be less than it's going to be if you walk or cycle. Right. So, yeah, um, trying to actually prevent some of that traffic. So, you know, uh, park and ride on the edge of town, more investment in in active travel. So, we put in the right infrastructure to make it safer uh, for people to walk and cycle. Um, a lot of people were doing it during the lockdown because there was an awful lot of traffic, mm. you know, and cleaner air to breathe as well. And the promenade, what's your reason that? It's a mess. Um, well, we all I, that I, bit at the minute, but we can, you know, <laughs> you're for it or against it or whatever. The promenade uh, definitely needed investment in it. Um, I'm on record as saying that I didn't exactly agree with the uh, scheme that's uh, going ahead. Um, you may also remember that I was the one that pointed out there was no sea defences included in the scheme. The minister at the time said, oh, yes, it is. And I said, oh, no, it's not. Um, it <laughs> right. proved, you know, in the end, he had to admit that um, there wasn't any sea defences. And uh, Where would you fit best in government if you did take up something? I should have asked that earlier with that other question. You know, which department would you like? Well, obviously, I've got, um, you know, or have had interest in, in quite a large number of sort of issues, whether it's uh, um, traffic issues, whether it's, uh, you know, infrastructure. So well, DOI is a possibility. Okay. Um, health, remember I was the, I, I founded the Isle of Man Health and Care Association along with Kate Costain. Okay. So Finally, um, if you didn't make it on this time, you, you're not a guy to go away, but would you, would you pick Douglas South again at the full election or would you go to one of the other ones you've tried? I think, you know, let's get this 
next period out of the way. Well, you know, it's going to really be a really tough uh, period. And you stand when, again, whatever, right? You'd stand. I, I can't say that, because, but because we're a party, remember, even if I don't stand, obviously the, the, the policies um, and principles of the party will remain the same. So it may be that, that um, it's me, it may be somebody else, but at least the people of Douglas South or whatever would know that there's some form of consistency.